Hello YouTubers, we have here today ready for reviewing the new Handtech 6022BE PC oscilloscope and this is how the box is looking like an oscilloscope that you can connect to your PC through the USB port so supposedly you can see the signals on the screen uh, this is what you have inside the of the box. I don't know what is this supposed to mean. It says certification, but I don't see the point in having this. Okay, this is how um, the mighty oscilloscope is looking like. So it has this um, rubber made ends and these feet that you can actually use to set the oscilloscope on the table like this usb cable with two male usb connectors that you can actually hook up to your computer one is for harvesting the power of um, the usb port and the other one is for data i assume that the oscilloscope itself uses a little bit more power than um, a normal USB port can provide and this is why you have two connectors. The oscilloscope probes and driver CD and that's pretty much it. I believe that the user manual is um, on the CD the probes themselves they look pretty nice i can tell you they have this calibration knob right here the attenuation switches which are actually looking as they would um, be of a high quality you have the all um, everybody knows this the identification um, label ring which is supposed to be the same color with um, the ring on the connector and you also have some other labels here some replacing um, yellow caps for the tip of the probe and a screwdriver for the calibration knob on the probe so these yellow caps you can actually um, put um, here just to, to replace this hook connector. Okay, I'm gonna unbox the other probe too. This is the yellow one and I'm gonna connect it here. Okay, now in order to... Um, see something on the screen and to measure something i'm gonna connect these probes to um, an electronic board it's basically um, a real-time clock on this board that is talking to a microcontroller so we're gonna see how the uh, serial transmission between these two chips is looking like um, so i'm just gonna connect the probes here yep now I took the liberty of installing the software myself and the drivers so that I can be faster um, and this is how the signals are looking like okay you have some knobs on the right side of the screen here you can actually set your um, time base from here uh, or you can simply twist the knob like this using the um, mouse pointer okay and you can also you can also select the values from the list you can actually use the cursor to drag the waveform on the screen for triggering you have this um, 
side um, level pointer here that you can actually uh, drag and um, adjust with the pointer on the screen and um, you can also set the um, the amplitude of the signals uh, so the uh, vertical scales from these yellow and uh, green knobs here on the right side of the screen. An interesting thing about this is that you have some um, cross cursors on the screen that you can actually uh, use to uh, measure some um, slopes um, of your waveform or you can uh, measure the um, period of the waveform or the frequency and these values are actually automatically shown here um, on the bottom of the screen in yellow. I find this really useful and I really like it. You also have um, the possibility of viewing the waveform in dots and you can easily switch between these two modes here on the screen and you also have the possibility of performing some mathematical functions between the um, the channels and you have a plus b a minus b a times b so uh, you can actually apply all these mathematical functions between the waveforms and then obtain a third one on the screen um, which um, basically represents the this function and um, a uh, divided by b then you can have the fast Fourier transformant so this is basically the FFT uh, um, function you just enable it like this from this uh, checkbox right here you you can select the channels and you can choose to have this function displayed here in uh, volts rms or decibels here so it's really nice that you can actually have this uh, embedded here and um, you can actually see it on the screen the bad part in my opinion is that you don't have any um, scale for this FFT function on the screen and I haven't seen any button that allows you to um, see any any scales any vertical or horizontal scale so if you want to measure something there some amplitudes of some harmonics I don't know how you can do that but it's good to have this for the record okay what else um, there is a separate menu which is called measure window and when you um, access it it displays a left side menu here and you can actually select some um, measurements that you can um, you can put on the screen so you can have the minimum maximum peak to peak value and when you um, select that respective measurement then you will see the value displayed in the chart here on the screen and that's a very important thing to have anyways for measuring the um, frequency the period um, the time and the amplitude you you actually have these automatic measurements here on the screen you, you don't have to do anything else but to uh, set some cursors here on the screen the amplitude um, um, scale is going from 20 uh, millivolts per division up to 5 volts per division so you can adjust this and in case you're interested this is supposed to be a 20 megahertz oscilloscope and you can go from 1 nanosecond to um, 5000 seconds I actually tried to use this uh, very large time um, basis 
and to obtain a recording, a macro recording on the screen, uh, but I wasn't very satisfied with it. It seems like from time to time the um, uh, trigger is resetting the image on the screen and you can lose, um, um, I don't know, uh, 10 minutes recording or something like this. It's good to have it, but in my opinion it doesn't really work the way it's supposed to be working. So, um, what else? You also have some calibration contacts here, so you can actually uh, put your oscilloscope probe and you are seeing the, um, the wave uh, form on the screen. This is also good for um, calibrating your probes for adjusting these uh, compensation uh, knobs here on the oscilloscope probes and it's also good for um, verifying your oscilloscope. I really hope you enjoyed my video and you enjoyed this Handtech oscilloscope. Um, if you have any thoughts, suggestions about it, don't forget to leave your comments below in the comment section and of course if you want to see more videos like this with um, electronic devices uh, and reviews about um, tools don't forget to subscribe uh, to this channel for more videos like this until next time see you